We as human beings love drama. I, I don't know what it is, but it, it's like why people watch TNT. They know drama. It's why reality TV show uh, shows are so successful. People love conflict. They love drama. They love everything. And we're just here. We're here for the salt. We're here for the team, man. And the Minnesota Fighting Vikings previous regime, head coach Mike Zimmer, the coaching staff, as well as GM Rick Spielman, didn't have a good culture at the end. And uh, frankly, I love that a bunch of the players are putting, you know, being professional aside and just like all the niceties, like, oh, you know, we learn a lot. But, you know, Kendricks has talked out about a fear, uh, fear driven organization. Brian O'Neill. Hey, can someone say hi to Brian O'Neill in the hallway? One time, a uh, former Viking, Fadio Denebo, nuked uh, former trainer Eric Sugarman, and now Chris Boyd. Who Chris Boyd is quickly becoming one of my favorite players on the Vikings, man, because he wears his heart on his sleeve. He says whatever's on his mind, and he's just he's hilarious, too. He's hilarious. He was on Patrick Peterson's podcast uh, with, with his cousin Brian McFadden, All Things Covered, and... Also, I love this part of the media where the, the, the whole podcast, YouTube space, obviously, or we're, we're a fan of it. But Patrick Peterson gets all these players on and they open up the hat. They actually talk, man, as opposed to, you know, national media jabroni haircuts. Like, oh, uh, Christopher Boyd, uh, to please tell us about uh, the new Vikings defense. <laughs> no. No, and Chris Boyd is talking to his guy, his mentor, Patrick Peterson, and he opened up, and he opened up a can of whoop-ass on the previous regime. This is what he said uh, about Zimmer and the previous coaching staff. They would walk around with their sphincters, like tight, would always be strict about everything. Anytime you messed up, it's like the end. Uh, it's like the world ended. KO and them, Kevin O'Connell, uh, they way more chill, way more relaxed. Whatever we got to get fixed, we're going to get fixed. We got, uh, we're going to keep rolling. We're going to bounce back, uh, figure it out. So uh, obviously, you know, he's talking about where, yes, there is a place for strict coaching. There is a place for high standards. There is a place for accountability, but you got to be able to read the room. Like if you have, if you have players that their confidence is just going to be shredded, like every time, single time something minute goes wrong. And guess what? As a defensive back in the NFL with all the talent on the offensive side of the ball, as well as all the rules favoring the offense, you're going to get beat. Like Revis got beat. Jalen Ramsey gets beat. Uh, Cornerbacks get beat, right? But every time there's just a minor mistake or, or if you get beat, you're just going to get roasted. And you already feel bad enough as it is. And as a cornerback, you need to have a short memory. You need to be... You need to be the guy from Memento, but the fact that you you get your your butthole ripped, just completely destroyed, just completely nuked uh, when you get to the sidelines, ah, ain't good, ain't good. And lots of players have talked about the entire vibe has changed uh, around this team. Uh, the whole vibe, everybody's uh, way more relaxed as a defense, as a whole team. The vibe, nobody really, uh, nobody's really worried about too much. I like we. Really there to enjoy football and learn and just be the best us. And that's Chris Boyd on the All Things Covered podcast. And that's exactly it. Where, hey, it's like you don't have to walk around on eggshells and pins and needles. Like, oh, if I mess up, I'm going to get benched and then I'm going to get cut. And then what am I do to feed my family? No, it's like, hey ish happens guess what everything is not going to be perfect in a football game you're not going to win 100 to 0 every single play is not going to be perfect but guess what if small things happen ish happens and we're going to pick each other up and we'll move on to the next one guess we'll use it as a learning opportunity we'll get better and we won't make the same mistake again or at least we'll try not to right that that is what the attitude should be as opposed to this complete you know petty tyrant uh, thing it was like hey hey if you make a mistake, you're, you're getting benched, you're getting yelled at, you're getting uh, embarrassed on national television. And you, you got to think, too, some some of the cornerbacks have gone through, even though Zimmer said that he could find cover two corners uh, down at the 7-Eleven, even though, you know, read the room, like, where's the local, local uh, lo, uh, where's the closest 7-Eleven here in the Midwest? Anyway, should have said quick trip. Wh whatever. Or uh, just coming together as a whole, as a unit, uh, I think that vibe... And that's something that I do love and respect the most about Kevin O'Connell and Kwesi Dofamensa and the coaching staff uh, so far this year. It's like everyone, everyone just seems like they're having fun. And football is supposed to be fun. And guess what? When you're fun, you play loose, you play fast, you just get after it. And you know what's really fun? Winning a Super Bowl, winning games, getting after it, as opposed to uh, just being worried about every single step uh, out there, right? And, hey, you, you could say, well, Belichick and Saban, I mean, they are they got their a-holes tight too. Sure, yes, but guess what? They got the rings. Like, to be a petty tyrant, you have to have the kingdom first to be the petty tyrant. So, is what it is there. But, again, <laughs> just all the salt, all the tea coming out, man. 
It's just fantastic. I, I, I love Chris Boyd. Uh, but that's it. Uh, your thoughts are our thoughts. Chris Boyd nukes the previous Vikings coaching staff. Let us know in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Most worth the work. Put a little something in the Venmo. But to next time, Skull, production value.